All right, today we're going to start with uh, vitamin E. Vitamin E is going to be, a sh this is a shorter one, uh, not much to say about vitamin E. Uh, the main thing I do want to point out is it's one word buzzword, antioxidant. So let's explore vitamin E. Uh, like other vitamins, this one is fat soluble. I want to list the fat soluble vitamins right now, A, D, E, and K. Remember that, I'll keep drilling it in your minds. If you've been watching my other videos, I've, I've been saying this, vitamin A, Vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K are going to be your fat-soluble vitamins. Uh, where do you find vitamin E? Well, you'll find it in a lot of oils. So sunflower oil, wheat germ oil, palm oil, and then also leafy veggies, fruits, a whole host of things. Uh, intakes there. So what is it? I said antioxidant. What is an antioxidant? Well, your body is an enzyme factory. You have a whole bunch of different enzymes, different reactions taking place within the body. And out of all of those reactions, some of them are not very favorable. Uh, oxygen, for example, even though we need it, we breathe it every day, it's actually a pretty volatile substance. Uh, very, very dangerous, but thankfully our body has defense mechanisms to prevent damage. And one of those defense mechanisms is going to be uh, vitamin E, however, we also have glutathione and a whole host of other, uh, other molecules, protection defenses um, that prevent these molecules from causing damage to our enzyme factory. So reactive oxygen species, also, also frequently seen as ROS, reactive oxygen species, and these are just the byproducts of reactions that have oxygen in them. And uh, like I said, oxygen is very dangerous. So any of those dangerous things that our body spits out would be a reactive oxygen species. Typically have one electron in their orbit, uh, meaning that they'll uh, attach onto whatever they find, whether it be your membrane, whether it be enzymes, uh, anything it can find, it'll attach to, and, uh, and thankfully we have ways to prevent that. So uh, vitamin E is fat soluble, like I said, so let's, let's kind of piece this together. Uh, vitamin E is fat soluble and it's an antioxidant. So it's probably going to be a lipid membrane defense system. And actually that's the truth. Uh, it, it is an excellent antioxidant for your lipid membranes. What happens if you have a deficiency in, in this? Well, if you have a vitamin E deficiency, um, you'll be seeing a lot of neurologic problems. Uh, your membranes will start accumulating mutations or, or uh, species that it really shouldn't have, it'll have defects in it. So your membranes start getting a little um, funky and you'll get neurologic problems primarily. Um, again, all, as with all these vitamin deficiencies, any deficiency in a vitamin can cause a whole slew of problems. Uh, I just wanted to emphasize the neurologic problems because that, that's kind of one of the more troubling and one of the more prominent uh, problems that we'll see with a vitamin E deficiency. So out of these Babinski sign, that's going to be a upper motor neuron sign. And what it is, is instead of uh, normally plantar flexing, so kind of curling your toes uh, upon stimuli, it's where you'll kind of extend your toes, you'll dorsiflex your toes uh, with stimuli. And that's, that's not normal. Typically, when someone touches the bottom of your foot, you kind of cringe, you kind of like curl around their stimulus. Uh, Babinski sign is the exact opposite. Also, you have spinocerebellar ataxia, uh, dysarthria, the, 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 apparently what I'm doing right now, the inability to speak, and then also deep tendon reflexes may be absent or reduced. All right, here's my work cited for this one. I promised it would be a short one. Hopefully, you'll stick around for the next uh, vitamin discussion. Thank you very much.